remember yesterday when I said I shouldn't be doing what I did? Here we are again. It's fucking spit on my mic already. 300,000 stubs have been spent. All on headliner packs. No, none of that standard pack bullshit. We're doing the damn... Maybe the good ones. So you get three per 5,000. Per 5,000, they put the bundle in or whatever, thank God, because I think before they were like 7,500 each. 180 in total, I think it was. I just added them up because I wanted to see how many you get for 300K. You get 180, pretty much. And for some reason, I have a finest set too. I don't know where I got that from. Must have been a damn mission or something, but I don't know if even, I don't think that's even the good one, is it? No, I think you need three, maybe. I don't know if any of them are good anymore. Well, 180 packs will be open in this episode. I may be rotting in my chair. Last night, I definitely did that. I tried to record something else, and it didn't work. So this is, I guess, what's happening. Let's end the damn pack opening season with a bang, right? Let's just blow the stubs out the door. Blow it. Rocket it into the street is what the stubs have been. Into the sewer pits. I'm blabbering on at this point. Let's begin. Let's see if, you know, are these even good? I, I haven't opened packs since, like, June. Legitimately, the only packs I've been opening have been the ones I've been getting from programs and shit. That's, that's pretty much it. I don't even recommend you do so, to be honest, because this might be... This should be called the largest waste of time ever. Largest waste of currency and time. That one is going to shit. These are actually, you get a decent chance. What are the odds? One in 10. What's a standard pack? One in 50 for a standard pack. I don't even know if it's one in a million at this point. I don't even know why I'm doing this to be honest with you. Oh, gold, what the hell? It's a miracle. I'd probably be making more use of my time if I went outside and started slithering up and down the street like a crocodile. Standing in line at Costco is more useful than this. Nothing, but at least you get a silver every time. You're actually making, you know, stubs back, or not, you know, not really, but. I don't know, I don't know. You're making just nothing. Well, set two might be going to dog shit too, from what I'm seeing right now. Nothing but silvers and couple golds, but there's not, there's not even such thing as a good gold in this game anymore. They're all just junk. I should probably be positive for once in my life, right? Like, this is another one. I remember actually doing these, and you know what happened? I was positive for pack openings this year, and they were actually very good to me. I'm not even gonna sit here and bullshit and be like, no, pack openings stunk this year for me. You know what? They're actually decent. It wasn't like MLB 17 when Mike Trout was falling from the heavens, but it was, you know, it was decent. There was no chance in shit that they, you know, saw that motherfuckers were pulling diamonds out of their ass. Oh, wait a minute. As I say that, one falls out of my ass. Fuck it, we're gonna go through the animation. I haven't seen one of these in forever. Oh. Well, clearly it's a pitcher. Three, what does that say? 3.62 ERA. Okay, it's gonna be, uh, wait a minute. I'm guessing, uh... Damn it, what's his name? Oh, I was wrong. Oh, I was really wrong, actually. I don't know if that's good. Is that good? I have no idea. I have zero clue. I could pull probably the most expensive card in the game at this point, and I'd have no idea. I might as well, uh... That was back-to-back -back packs. Wait a minute. What? Did this just glitch out or something? This is Jake Arietta and back-to-back -back packs from what I'm seeing. What? Oh, wait a minute. Is this because Arietta is like the specialty diamond? Set four, you have a chance to get Bill Mazeroski or Jake Arietta. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't know if that's ever happened to me before. That would have been the most rare thing I've ever seen. Just pull the same diamond in back-to-back -back packs. What the hell's happening? If this is Air... I should have been doing this in the middle of the summer. If this is going to be the luck I'm going to get. I don't know who it was, but I think I have pulled a diamond from headliner packs before. It was nobody insane or anything. Actually, it was never one of the specialty diamonds. Well, I figured since this is probably going to be a while, I should probably sit here and tell a story or something. Otherwise, everyone's probably going to be fucking passed out in their chairs. I always try and tell stories sometimes and then oh, another gold. And then I realize halfway through it, I probably shouldn't tell because then my fucking channel would be extinct. I should probably tell one that's not, you know, inappropriate or something. I should probably 
I tell one that's just, you know, a normal story with, you know, people shit in their pants and stuff like that. That'd probably make the most sense. Just trying to think of a good one that isn't inappropriate. I don't know. I'm a big wrestling fan, so I, I have a lot of wrestling stories with me and my friends and stuff like that, so. I, I don't know. I mean, this might be like a story time with Kevin video. I think I brought up my friend Jason before when it was, okay, another gold. When it was involving mean, me, what mean? Me being sent to the detention office because I leg dropped him in the playground and then a teacher saw it. Just, you know, like, I just, I just, I don't know. I always thought about that when I was a kid. I just thought to myself, what the hell? What do people think when you do something insane? Like when I was fucking flying off my bike, go oh, gold, going down a hill full speed, people might may have been looking out their fucking windows being like, look, honey, it's a flying kid. And then when I did, I pulled off a leg drop on my friend Jason. What was that teacher think? I don't know why I always fucked with Jason because he he was he was one of those assholes who could dish it out but would never take it. If that didn't sound completely disgusting, I'm just realizing it now, but he he could, he would be the one to dish out the wrestling moves, but when it came time to him taking one, no. I fucking remember going to this guy's house. This guy had very strict parents. This is, I hated going there. His parents may have been the most strict parents I've ever seen in my entire existence. So I go over there one day, and I remember I had to leave, like, I don't, they wouldn't even let me stay past like five o'clock. So I went there right after school, and then by the time five o'clock came around, they pretty much picked me up the back of the shirt and threw me out. It was like Uncle Phil throwing out jazz. And we were playing Smackdown Shut Your Mouth, I believe it was. This is what happened. This guy, okay, here's a gold. Or what? All right, let's, let's uh, focus in on this first and then we'll try and remember where I was. This is another Chicago Cup. This is Chicago Cup Day on MLB The Show 19. If you want to pull a Chicago Cup, run to your PlayStation as fast as you can. Oh shit, for a second I thought that was going to be the damn 99 Ernie Banks. Or can you even pull that from a... Uh, not a finest, a damn headliner. Anyway, where was I? I think, I think the wrestling part. This guy would be choke slamming me like I've never been choke slammed before. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's like, all right, take the stunner. This guy would be dishing out stunners left, right, and center. But when it came time to this guy, he would be one of those guys who would, you'd kick in the midsection and then he, he wouldn't, he wouldn't go down and take it. Take the stunner. Like, I don't, I don't get that. That one friend who will take a wrestling move, you should stay friends with the rest of your life because those are rare ass individuals. His mom came downstairs to give us some snacks and we were in the middle of wrestling. And then you should have seen the look. The look this woman gave me, I will never forget. She may have pierced my skull. I thought laser beams were gonna come out of this woman's eyes and fry me to a crisp. Oh, here we go again. Chicago Cub. Let me guess, who is this? Oh, it's, uh, Mookie? I guess that because it showed Mookie's picture on the damn scoreboard. That's not that bad, actually. Oh, I think we still have a shitload to go, boys. There is still plenty of packs to open. This is actually not even going that bad. Realistically, if, they, if I spent 300k on standard packs, I would have been in tears by now. 1,000 stubs and I already have 26,000 now. Wait, wait, what are the odds of pulling a gold? One in three. Oh, whoops. This isn't a complete waste of time. I don't know, probably still is, but... Actually, I'm just gonna open this one now, screw it. This one's kind of pissed me off. It's just kind of a... I don't know, it's, it's annoying me. 40 home runs. 96 RBIs. I'm gonna guess this. I'm gonna predict it. It's, uh... It's, uh... It's Muncie. It's Muncie 100% It's Muncie. It's Muncie 1,000 trillion percent. Okay. I'm on set 11 out of 25, but there is still a bunch from certain sets left. So I don't know if uh, this will take 10, this could take 10 years or 10 seconds. I'm not re really sure. Just kind of getting angry at the fact that I realized I just spent 300K on fucking packs in January. Like this isn't even the beginning of the season or anything. This is, this is like the end of the cycle if I've ever seen it. Dennis Eckersley or Lou Brock is in this one. I would, I'd like to see a Dennis Eckersley to be honest. I think he's still going for a loss. If I get Eckersley, I will fucking dance like a fool on camera. Only one left though, so I don't think that's probably gonna happen. Oh no, it's at 13. I think this one has the most in them. So this is, who, who's in this one? Upton and Jim Palmer, yeah. I hope next year they bring back the damn, uh, what were those packs from like MLB 17 or some shit? There was, there was one of them. Come on, lucky number 13 is that what it is? I don't know. This could be... 
Oh, I just um. I didn't. I, I I was so certain that you know no more diamonds would have been pulled. I just completely skipped it, and it was one of the specialty diamonds. That's unfortunate. Jesus, man, what the hell is going on? They make it so you pretty much get one every damn time. That's like four, I think. I may have gotten four of the specialty diamonds without getting like one all season. Sucks that it's not a really expensive one, but I guess. The hell with it. I need to watch a movie or something. I need to do something tonight that isn't just gonna be me sitting here thinking about ways I can fucking waste stubs. What is good on Netflix? Like, I don't know if anything is good on Netflix. You go on Netflix and you're sitting there for fucking 20 minutes looking through the day. It's like, what is this? I don't, I don't know what this is. Once the Weekenders drops on Disney+, Plus, I may never leave my basement. If I don't already. If I had a mini fridge down here, I'd be the next TLC show. The guy who doesn't leave the basement. Guy only sits in his basement and watches The Weekenders, starring this guy. Since apparently they're only putting out crazy ass shows on that channel. The 1000 Pound Sisters. What the hell is that? Oh, diamond. I'm not gonna skip it this time. I'm not gonna fail. Oh, uh... I should know this, but I don't. Oh, yeah, I need to piss again. Seems like whenever I sit down to record, I always need to piss. I need to piss episode 588. Actually, I remember one time I actually did piss myself when I was like running away from somebody because I couldn't put my package back in. My package was bouncing around like a college professor's emotions in the middle of a lecture. I just realized that uh, me and my brother have something in common. Me and my brother may have soiled our pants. Who's this? Indians? Well, Corey Kluber is, uh, almost like forgot he was in the game. I don't know if I've seen Kluber at all this year. I'm gonna have to remind myself to sell all these damn diamonds because I might be able to get a decent amount of stubs back. Um, oh my- Double diamond! I probably shouldn't be excited, but I have never seen that before, I don't think. In the same pack? Oh, this is, uh... Wait. No, no, yeah, I was... I wasn't sure for a second. Fernando Rodney is the first one, and then who the hell is this gonna be? Okay, this is either, is this either, this is Chapman. Yeah. Yeah. I think it had to be. Two diamonds in one pack, that's not that bad. This is actually not that bad. I really thought this was probably the worst decision I've ever done in my life, and I'm kind of changing my mind now. Oh, I should've sold him, but let's see if there's any more. Why not? What? Why not? Nice voice crack. We're getting close to the end though. This is kind of, Counting down. I'm on set 20 of 25, there's only like 11, 22, 27, 33, 42, 50. There's 50 left, exactly, wow. I want a diamond that is like over 50K. Maybe the last sets, because they're newer, if that makes sense. Like obviously the ones from like set one and shit are probably not that expensive anymore, but like maybe from the later sets you can get one. Who's the later sets? Raleigh Fingers and Jose Reyes are the last set. Who's gonna be in this one? Oh my Jesus, I, and there's pictures everywhere. I, pull, I pulled like, 90% pitchers. This from the Rays again. Oh no, Blake Snell. Yeah, I didn't. Oh no, Char what? Charlie Morton. I don't know. I haven't opened up packs in so long. I just kind of didn't expect to pull any. But then I remembered you actually have a decent chance to pull one from headliner packs. So this is not bad. Jesus, one soda was close to being a diamond live series wise this year. I don't even know if I knew that. He was an 84. I think if I read that right, otherwise I look stupid. But yeah, I think he was an 84. Come on. Two golds. Man, I'm probably going to have easily over 100k when this is done with. Oh! Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Yeah, I just... No. What? Just Lindor? Yeah, I don't... I, I mean, I possibly could have been Jose Ramirez, but I think, yeah. All right, then. Man, this is kind of fucked up. Like, I don't know. Has anyone even been opening these headliner packs? Because, I mean, I guess this is, what, 180? This was standard packs. This would be the most insane thing I've ever seen. But the fact this is headliners is kind of, you know... Yeah, quick sell that asshole. Nobody was happier more- what? Nobody was more happy than me than when, uh, Osuna got traded. Dude, I was reading earlier too- are they actually- Out of everybody that's been pulled in this pack opening, this is the best pull. What was I saying? Jesus Christ, I don't remember. Oh yeah, I was on- I was looking- Are they dropping a Moments Extreme Part 3? Why are they trying to torture people when the game is pretty much done? How could it be harder than Part 2? Right? That damn Kenley mission was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen my biology teacher give me a 47 just because she didn't like me. Oh, another diamond. This could be an expensive one. This is set 24, isn't it? From the Padres. 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why I said that. I, don't, I have no idea who this is. I was gonna say... Oh, yeah. John Lester and Harmon Killebrew. Both of them are very cheap, so it's not gonna come from this one. Set 25 is my only hope of getting somebody expensive. Eighth set 25s remain to pull somebody who's all right. My only chance is probably getting Reyes or... Who was the other one? Reyes or Raleigh Fingers is my only chance. Raleigh Fingers is like 70k, isn't he? Let's do it. Four left. Bless me. Bless me, Jesus, in these last two packs. Just bless me. When it comes down to the last one. Last one. Anybody. No soul. Probably see the waterfall coming out of my mouth on that one, but 70,000 stubs have pretty much been made just from quick selling silvers and golds from this. I don't know if this was the largest waste of time anymore. It probably was. I don't know if anything I do on this game anymore is anything but a damn disgrace.